a lost hero in the turbine world. This aircraft doesn't get enough love for what it does. But today we're going to talk about it. The Evolution Turbine Aircraft. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Group. Mike here. As I said, we're going to check out the Evolution Aircraft and Unfortunately, this plane, like I said, hasn't gotten enough love over the years. I'll tell you my history with the Evolution aircraft. I first heard about this plane probably in 2016 uh, when I was a student pilot. It's just, it's one of the few gems, honestly, when it comes to speed or when you want to graduate into that jet or turbine world. The Evolution to me is a gem because it does a lot of things well, but again, it hasn't gotten a lot of exposure. And for some good reason, here's a story with the Evolution. Originally, it's actually a Lantair aircraft, Lantair Evolution. If you know anything about Lantair, it's actually one of the first to do it. When it comes to experimental planes, Lantair has been putting out really cool models for decades now. And we've covered just about every Lantair models you can think about from the 360 to uh, the, the Lantair 4P. These are all fast, very fast airplanes. And when you think of Lantair, think of speed. Generally speaking, this aircraft manufacturer focuses on speed over everything else. If you're graduating into a Lantair, you want to get somewhere and you want to get there fast. And really, that's where the evolution comes in. It's the biggest and I would say the fastest, but also the most expensive Lantair brand. Now, I'm using Lantair with a bit of a caution because I don't believe that this aircraft is a Lantair anymore. Unfortunately, Lantair have just exchanged hands over the years. This is a company that struggled uh, for years now, and they've split all of their models. They've sold assets to this company and this person. And a few years back, the Evolution model ultimately became just Evolution Aircraft after it was purchased from Lantair. And so they wanted to focus on just building that one model. And not just that, when it exchanged hands, they also came out with a piston model. So again, the Evolution, the Lancer Evolution, originally was built as a turbine aircraft. But when the new owners came in, they also wanted to build a piston version of the airplane, which was, I guess, more affordable, but also gives you a better option. If you're not looking to get into turbine yet, with the piston version, you're still going pretty fast at over 200 knots or 250 knots but you're also using a fairly new engine in the Lycoming uh, IE, which is one of the new engine models from Lycoming because it has a FADEX system. But again, unfortunately, a lot of folks have not bought into this plane or more so, it hasn't really gotten enough love, in my opinion. And this is one of my personal favorite aircraft, although I haven't checked one out in person, but that is soon to happen. So when you think of your mission, speed, comfort, range, payload, the evolution knocks it out the park. But also when you compare it to other certified models in the market, you're paying a fraction really for what you're getting with this aircraft. So let's talk about it. The good things about the evolution, because there is a compromise with this airplane. First, you're getting an aircraft that is to me, to me, just beautifully designed. I love the shape and lines of this aircraft from the exterior to the interior. Now the interior is only four seats, which again, it's plenty. Think of the average person who is buying or flying one of these. Chances are it's just a single pilot who needs to get from one place to another. And so oftentimes those three other seats are probably not being used. The Evolution is also powered by a Pratt & Whitney engine. So you're talking about a turbine that's very powerful, 750 horsepower, and this is an airplane that will cruise, get this, up to 300 knots. You just can't find that in most single engine aircraft. And also the fact that this is a pressurized cabin. Again, not something you find. I can think of maybe one other single engine that's piston that's pressurized and that's in the piper world right but the evolution piston and or turbine which is we'll focus on the turbine model today uh, you get a pressurized cabin 
with the interior also you have side sticks so you don't have a center you have side sticks and again manufacturers would do this by design because they want to make proper use of the real estate you've got it is a nice and cozy cabin from the looks of it but i want you guys to wait until i'm able to check out this airplane in person and i can tell you if the interior is comfortable or if it feels tight but from the looks of it right now it looks very cozy but again you're not really sparing a lot of that room because you have the sticks to the side and you've got a glass panel like this is an experimental aircraft so chances are if you're building one today you're probably going to opt for a garmin or dynan whatever preference you want for avionics you will get but you will still get a modern well-built aircraft some more performance data for you the evolution as i said is a beast this is not just your average joe airplane this is a very very fast and high performing aircraft you have a climb rate at 4,000 feet a minute practically jet world as a matter of fact i know that most light jets don't climb that fast so at 4,000 feet a minute you're up at altitude in a matter of like that so 4,000 feet a minute your climb rate again once you get to cruise you can cruise up to 300 knots, but the Eco Cruise is around 240, 250 knots. And your fuel burn at normal or high speed cruise, you're looking at 37 gallons per hour. You nudge that power down and you go down to about 220, 240 knots, you're burning half of that. So you're burning between 17 and 18 gallons of fuel per hour. And this is Jet A, by the way. If you don't know this, Jet A generally all around the country is cheaper than 100 low lead. So you're burning jet A, and again, you wanna go a little slower, you're gonna save yourself a lot of fuel burn per hour. What's also great about the Evolution is, as fast as this airplane travels, you also have a very low stall speed. You're looking at 61 knots for your stall speed. Your useful load, a little over 1,800 pounds. Once you fill up the tanks, you still have 800 pounds of payload. That's for adults, for American adults that you can put in that plane and go a thousand miles. And the last bit of good news that's working for this airplane is the price. You're looking at 1.4 to 1.6 million dollars. Now, I took a deep breath before I mentioned that price because I understand that most people don't have that type of money just sitting around or spending an aircraft. But now let's look at this plane compared to something else you would be looking at if you can indeed afford a Lantair or evolution aircraft at 1.6 million dollars something you're looking at is maybe a piper m600 a tbm these are planes that perform around the same thing a pilatus these are all generally 250 knots airplane that you can cruise up to 300 as a matter of fact i think only the tbm can cross 300 knots your piper m500 piper m600 or the pilatus you're usually cruising around 250 knots. But guess what? You'd be paying double the price. For a used TBM today, you're looking at over $3 million for a used TBM. Even a used Piper, you're looking at closer to $3 million. So when you look at the price and you go, man, it's a couple of million dollars, but compared to what else you can get in the market, you're getting a fraction of the cost for better performance, better everything, a more capable airplane, in my opinion. And this is why I think that this airplane is not getting all the love it should be getting. But now let's talk about the downside of the evolution. We've mentioned how the company has been plagued by financial struggles. Now keep in mind that this is actually not isolated to Lancer or any of the companies that's pushed forward the evolution aircraft. It's just a thin in aviation, unfortunately, this is a very capital intensive industry. Trust me, I'm in it. To make a dollar, you gotta spend two. Or as they say, to make a million dollars in the aviation industry, you have to spend two million dollars. That can be sarcastic, but it is very true. Anyone who wants to put out a plane or a model, it's gonna cost a lot of money. If you see all the projects that are going on in the aviation industry, you need to be praising everyone involved in those projects because they can get very expensive and when you get to one finish line you got to cross another finish line that's just been what i've seen and in my experience so that is one of the downside is that 
you have the company that's exchanged hands a few times, you may run the risk of, are you gonna be dealing with the same people two, three years from now, or is this aircraft going to be around two, three years from now? Now, to mitigate that, recently Evolution Aircrafts is teamed up with JMB aircraft out in Europe. And so if you were looking to get into an Evolution today, you would have to build it. They have a full factory where you can build one, factory grade airplane, you build one, uh, through JMB. So I think that's a great, great move for evolution. And again, I, I hope to see more of these birds in the skies. So that's one of the downsides, the company and also parts, which brings me to insurance. Unfortunately, experimental or the experimental label doesn't really help most aircraft in this category. Generally means that your insurance is going to be high. You're going to be paying a premium for insurance and that's if you can find an insurance carrier who will cover this aircraft. From my research, I only know of one right now in the aviation space that will cover the evolution. Another downside with this aircraft, depending on who you ask really, is a design flaw in my opinion. If you look around the evolution, again, I think this is a beautifully designed airplane, but on a practical side, this is an aircraft that sits high. It is a retractable landing gear, but you think of your passengers. With the Evolution, you only have one door. One door on the left side, and that is it. If you're planning to carry passengers all the time, then that's something you need to consider. Now, if you had multiple doors or bigger doors, again, this is not a huge, big airplane. It's a very slim size airplane that likes to go fast. So that's something you would think about on the practical side is that you only have one door and you gotta climb up to get to that door. And the last compromise I think a pilot would make with the evolution is time. Again, given the fact that it is an experimental plane, it means that you have to wait. It's not a plane that is readily available. Of course, you can get you a used one that's already built and hope that the builder did a good job <laughs> in building that airplane. But generally speaking, if you're looking to build a new one, it would take time. It would, there's a lead time for parts, there's a lead time to build. So that's something you have to look forward to if you're looking to get into the Evolution aircraft. But ultimately, I don't see where you can really go wrong if you're in the market for an entry level or a turbine aircraft or even a jet. This airplane performs just like most light jets or even better performance than some light jets. A good video actually that I would recommend to everyone is this video. Either look up on the screen or I'll leave in the description check it out it compares the evolution aircraft bob myers did this video compare the evolution aircraft to the cirrus now cirrus is a great plane but you look at the cirrus jet right and you think of how practical that jet is and how practical this evolution aircraft is you'd be paying half the price for much better performance in the evolution compared to the cirrus now, given that a Cirrus is built firsthand for comfort, that's the first thing that Cirrus thinks about when they're building their plane. Comfort, long distance. Whereas the Evolution really compromises a bit on other things, but can go much faster. That's what you have to compare when you're looking at the Evolution. But I don't think you'd be making a lot of compromises with this airplane. I really hope to see more of it flying, especially with this new partnership with JMB. I hope that more people get interested in the evolution and personally i hope to check one out and show you guys very soon so make sure you stay tuned all right that is my spiel on the evolution if you enjoyed this video or have any questions comment below thanks for watching give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more aviation video and if you're looking to get your pilot's license you've been an enthusiast you want to get in the pilot seat yourself make sure you check out my flight school at lookupflightschool.com. I'm going to leave the link in the description. All right, guys, please stay safe, and I will catch you on the next video. Peace.